Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. We begin tonight with the vaccine and how more optimism was delivered today with the announcement that Johnson & Johnson's one-shot vaccine may be approved later this week. As of today, 12.8% of Ohio's population has been vaccinated. Mahoning County, one of the highest in the state at 15.2%, while both Trumbull and Columbiana counties are at 12.9%. The number of new COVID cases in Ohio also encouraging 1,842 today, about 700 below the 21-day average. But it's the vaccine that everyone is talking about right now. And today, First News reporter Lindsay Watson talked with Mercy Health's top doctor about how the third vaccine will help. It's our top story at 10. Taking it to the next level. COVID-19 vaccine production is picking up steam. Vaccine makers Moderna and Pfizer telling Congress they expect to deliver around 220 million doses by the end of next month. Mercy Health's Dr. Jim Kravick calls the news encouraging. We need to get to that magic number, whatever that number is, in, in the, you know, the, the 70 to 80 percent of the, of the population vaccinated. And to get there, we need to have all the tools we can. As that's happening, Johnson & Johnson is on standby, expecting its shot to start going out within the next week or so, pending FDA approval. And that could happen as soon as Friday. The hope is adding a third vaccine to the mix will help lessen wait times for people trying to get vaccinated. More volume and more vaccines in the public. That is really the, the right answer at this point. 1.5 million people have gotten their first dose of the vaccine in Ohio. Mercy Health has four clinics locally. Youngstown, North Lima, Halland, and Warren. They're constantly busy. Just listen to the numbers in the 1B group. We've done 17,000 total vaccine administrations. Uh, 12,000 unique individuals received the first dose and so far 5,000 of those have received the second dose. That's in addition to all of the 1A vaccines healthcare workers got. But it's a process. Reality is there's a lot more people in our community that need vaccinated. So um, the news that we will have more supply coming soon is very welcoming to our staff. They're ready to go and, and give out those vaccines for sure. Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News.